This screencast will demonstrate processing a set of digital records through Archivematica from ingest to access and archival storage. So I'm going to process what we're calling a standard transfer. I'm going to name my transfer in this box. And assign an accession number here. Then I'm going to select the directory and browse to the folder that contains the transfer. So you see it's shown up here in the dashboard. I'm going to select Start Transfer as I'm, when I'm satisfied with my uploads. And in a moment it's going to show up here and it's waiting for approval, which is what that bell means. If you click on Actions, you can approve the transfer here. And it will begin going through a series of transfer microservices, including assigning file UUIDs and checksums, verifying checksums if they come with the transfer, generating a METS document, extracting packages, scanning for viruses, cleaning up sanitizing names, and also running FITs to characterize and extract metadata. So now the series of transfer microservices have completed. If you'd like details about any of them, you can click on the microservice and expand to look at any of the jobs associated. And if you would like any details about any of those jobs, you can click on the cog to find out the associated tasks. But now we're going to look at this drop-down menu and create SIP. And we can either send to backlog, reject the transfer, or create a single SIP and continue processing. We're going to create a single SIP and continue processing in this case. If you create a backlog, then your transfer is stored for processing at a later date, and you can call it up in the top of the ingest tab using these search functions here. So now our transfer is in the ingest set of microservices in the dashboard. It's awaiting approval. Um, it's asking us to select a format identification tool, which is a new feature in our Grammatica 0.10. In this case, I'm going to choose Droid from the FITS output as the basis for our normalization actions. Our Grammatica is reminding me that we have to add descriptive and rights metadata prior to normalization. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this metadata icon here. And this brings up my rights and metadata entry forms. So you can click on Add Metadata to add Dublin Core. I'm going to add a title and a creator and a subject line, and you can add as much or as little as you'd like here. Click Create, and it's added here in this metadata list. If you'd like to edit it, you can edit from here. You can also add more from here. If you go back to the SIP, you can also add rights. These are all premise rights based on premise 2.2. I'm not going to add any right now, but feel free to play around with this. I'm going to go back to the ingest tab. Now that I'm happy with all of the metadata that I've added, I'm going to go ahead and normalize for preservation and access. Once normalization is completed, you can review the results of normalization by clicking on Review. And if your browser has the capability to view JPEGs, for instance, you can click on one and open it up in your browser. So you can review any of these. If your browser doesn't have the ability to open something, then you can download it by double clicking on it and use one of your tools on your operating system. You can also look at a normalization report and this tells you whether preservation normalization was attempted, whether it failed, or whether the object was already in a preservation format. And it will tell you the same for access normalization. So I'm going to go ahead and approve normalization and continue through processing in the ingest tab. So you'll see the next step will be to upload our DIP 
and to store our APE. You can also review your APE in the same way that you can review your normalization results. Um, I'm going to go ahead and store my APE. And I'm also ready to upload my DIP, and I'm going to upload it to, to Atom, which is the default content management system that comes with our Carbonatica. Click upload after entering the permalink. And you'll see that our ape storage is complete. So if we click on archival storage, we can see pictures of my cat have shown up here. Um, and there's their UUID and the date that they were stored. And you can also search this archival storage um, multifaceted search. And then if you go to the access tab, if our dip has uploaded, which it has, you'll see it shows up here in the access tab and you can click on the dip URL and that will take you to the description in ICA Atom and you'll see our photographs there. And then any of the metadata that we uploaded will be there as well.